Spec-wise, most of the components here on the Fold 5 are physically the same as the Fold 4 of last year. Just like the Fold 4, the Fold 5 has the same 4400 mAh battery, 12GB of RAM, the same slim, slightly awkward front cover display, the same rear triple camera setup, the same cover display selfie camera, and yes, that same absolutely terrible 4 megapixel under display main screen camera. However, with the Fold 5, you will get the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which will give you better battery performance on the Fold 5 than the Fold 4, and while the camera components are the same, you will get slightly improved HDR results with the Fold 5 over the Fold 4. This inner larger main screen also has 1750 nits peak brightness over the Fold 4's 1000. The hinge holding the Fold 5 together now has a much tighter tolerance closing the gap of the previous folds before it, keeping dust and debris at bay, also making the Fold 5 slightly lighter and more comfortable to use and carry than the Fold 4. Storage options include 256, 512, and 1 terabyte, and the starting price of the Fold 5 is a familiar $1799. With that out of the way though, as I mentioned in my Pixel Fold video, you're not buying a foldable to get the latest and greatest specs. You're buying a foldable for the fact that it folds. Buying a foldable because it's simply different than a standard slab phone, and it offers a totally different level of productivity most of the standard slabs will never offer. It's a utility, one that fits the needs of many, not everyone. The Fold 5 is a great foldable. It's great for gaming, consuming content, and heck, it's even great for making content. For example, editing video using the S Pen and LumaFusion makes this a creator's dream. It's great for multitasking and getting things done. No, it's not going to have the best cameras. No, it doesn't have a larger, more usable front cover screen. And no, it's not wildly different than last year's Fold 4, but it doesn't mean it's a bad phone or a bad foldable. It just means that Samsung is dialing into what makes the Samsung Fold series great, focusing on the little refinements and subtle improvements that ultimately translate to a better daily foldable user experience. If you're upgrading from the Fold 4, there are many small welcome refinements here that that make the Fold 5 better than the Fold 4. If you're coming from the Fold 2 or 3, it's a great upgrade. However, don't expect the Fold 5 to completely blow your mind. Change how you look at foldables if you're already questioning if you need a foldable device in the first place, or bring anything to the table that other foldables outside of the US are already doing. This is Samsung's best foldable because it's their only foldable currently, and in the US market, it's still the best foldable $1799 can buy. As always, thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.